Hey friends, thanks for stopping by. Today I thought I'd share a quick tip for getting sharp autofocus with your G-Series cameras. At least, I think it works with all G-Series cameras. I only have experience with the GH5. Anyways, let's get into it. First thing you need to do is to set up back button autofocus. To do this, go into your menu and select your custom button configuration. Select the AE, AF button, or any other button that you prefer, and set it to autofocus. Now, switch your camera into manual focus. But Tom, you said this was going to be an autofocus hack. Why would I want to be in manual focus? Just trust me. Once you're in manual focus, you can now hit that AE, AF button and the camera will autofocus on your selected subject. Then stop focusing. Amazing, right? No more hunting. Just locked on. Oh, perfect. An added benefit to this setup is you can override the focus location at any time by simply turning the focus ring on your lens. So in reality, this is more of a hybrid focus. This is how I have my camera set up for video and for photos and was a major reason why I switched over to the GH5. To take this to the next level, all you have to do is download the Panasonic Image app from whatever app store you use for your chosen device. Like this. Some reviewers have said that there's been some bugs. I haven't experienced any of that. Test it out for yourself and see what you think. Now that you have the Image app installed on your device, go to your camera and enable the Wi-Fi connection. Follow the prompts to connect your device to the network your camera has created. Once connected, open up the app on your device and select Remote Operation. Now you should have a live preview of what your camera is seeing and an assortment of controls. From my experience with the GH5, I control all of my most used features from this app including frame rates, recording codec, aperture, shutter speed, ISO, and focus location. That's what we're most concerned with here. You can now place autofocus points on the subject and have the camera focus for you. The previous hybrid focus tip works within the app and is how I set all my focus for these talking head segments in my studio. While this hybrid focus system will get you accurate spot focus, it will not track a subject for you. For that, you'll have to either trust the continuous autofocus of the camera or your own steady hands. Alright, that's it. Give the hybrid focus solution a try and let me know what you think in the comments. I know it's not for everyone, but it's been my go-to focusing setup since I got the GH5 and I know it saved me a bunch of shots that I would have previously missed. If you have any other tips for getting the most out of your camera, leave them in the comments below so everyone else can see. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you would like to see more of my content, feel free to subscribe. If you're interested in some of the other work that I've done, go ahead and check out my website and any of the social links that I leave in the description. That's it for me guys. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time.